working and functioning of the United Nations. Give us a sense of how the speech went down with the world leaders. Uh, I think it went down very well. Uh, as you know, though the Prime Minister uh, read from the script uh, this, uh, this time, but he still managed to convey uh, the passion which comes from speaking uh, straight off the cuff, as he did last year. Uh, the speech was comprehensive uh, and, and covered all of the major issues of concern to the international community, uh, as well as to, to Pakistan. Uh, I, I think it, uh, it went down very well. It was uh, termed as a powerful speech, a powerful statement. Uh, it was a statement that was bold. Uh, but at the same time, uh, it hewed to uh, positions uh, that can uh, form the basis uh, of agreement within the United Nations. Uh, of course, our case on Kashmir, on, on Islamophobia, on India's policies uh, was clear, uh, crystal clear, uh, and uh, remains, uh, remains the same as it has been traditionally. Uh, but uh, I, I think the speech went down very well, and we have a lot of follow-up to do uh, in, in the light of the proposals which he has put forward. Right. So I was obviously uh, watching uh, the, uh, and reading the Indian media. It's an occupational hazard. And uh, the refrain was that, oh, uh, Prime Minister Khan's 2020 speech, as far as India is concerned, as far as illegally occupied and annexed Kashmir is concerned, was simply a rehash of what he said in 2019. And the underlying assumption seems to be, quite apart from uh, a certain kind of hubris that we see uh, in the Indian approach, was really, what does this matter? So um, give me a sense of, because the speech expended uh, some capital uh, in, in